Hello guys and welcome to our second Drupal lesson, part 1. Today I'm gonna tell you about Drupal users. So let's open our Drupal 7 instance and get started. I'm using the one created in our first lesson. If you did not watch it, I'll add a link to it into this video's description. As you can see here, by default, Drupal adds the login block in the left of the homepage. In case you've changed the default functionality, and I'm sure you're going to do that, to get to the login page, just type slash user in your browser. This is the default user page. In case you are an anonymous user or not logged in one, you'll see the login form, then tabs for password reset and user register, if it is allowed. If you are logged in, you'll see your user profile. As you know, when we first created our Drupal instance, we also had to create a user account for admin. That user is the user with the ID 1, and it is a super user, meaning that the permissions do not apply to it. User 1 has the administrator role assigned to it, but if, let's say, the admin role should not have the permission to edit nodes, User 1 would still be able to do that. Because of this, if you have multiple admins on a Drupal instance, it is best to create another user to work with, so that you can properly test its permissions. And trust me, there will be a lot of times when an admin account will tell you that it cannot do something, but you would be able to do it and you won't realize uh, why the other person isn't able to do those stuff. So, let's log in with uh, user1, the admin account, and let's create a new account. Click people. As you can see, you only have one user with administrator role. Click create account. Username, well, admin second. Okay, add now an email address. It doesn't matter if it is a real one because we would not notify the user. Password admin2 Okay, as you can see the status should be active and from roles you should click administrator role. Create new account and done. Now from the top right click on list and as you can see the second uh, user appears there with the role administrator. Now, on the permissions, you'll see there are uh, anonymous user, authenticated user, and administrator user. The administrator user should have uh, everything checked. As you can see, everything is checked on the uh, administrator part. Usually you want the administrator role to be able to do anything and everything inside of the instance. Now, click roles. As you can see, you have three roles, anonymous, authenticated, that are locked, you cannot edit them, administrator role that you can edit, you can create a new role, let's say, I don't know, editor, add role, okay, and the role appears there, on the edit part, you can change the name, or delete it. Okay, on, if you click edit permissions, you only see the permissions for this role, only for editor. Since it's a newly created role, nothing is checked. Let's close this log out and let's log in with this new admin second password admin2 okay log in and we're logged in as you can see admin second 
now let's change our username. Click my account. This is the profile page. Click edit. And let's change the username to admin2. You have to type uh, the current password. Admin2. Okay. You will see some uh, new uh, fields here. Picture, administrative overlay and other things. You will also see the editor role that we just added. You can let that as they are, save, and changes have been saved. Until you close the overlay, you'll still see the old username on top here. Now, let's refresh the page and see what happens. The new username appears there. Now, let's log out and log in with this newly created username. It worked! Well, congratulations guys on finishing this user tutorial. I hope you had fun and see you next time when we'll talk about content types and nodes. Bye!